Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on a new house, Sense of Wood. This house just seems to have like popped out of nowhere. They started in 2020 and boy, have they made a mark on social media. So stay tuned for my overview and all the info you need on Sense of Wood. So this was started in 2020 and I know Fabrice is who you see on social media on Instagram and they have a collaboration of five perfumers. There is uh, Yves Cesare, Pascal Gorin, Mackenzie Riley, Celine Barrel, and Carlos Benami and there are 17 fragrances. So let's see. There's a few ways to get this perfume. You can buy it by the bottle. You can buy it in discovery kits that are very generous, I'll show you. And you can also do their subscription service. So I don't have any of the full bottles, but I will put a picture up there. And in those bottles, you actually get to customize them. I love how there's so much customization in this perfume house. So you get to choose if you want your bottle color to be charcoal, ivory, or chocolate brown. And then you can choose if you want your hardware, the cap, to be either gold or black, which is kind of cool. I didn't realize that at first when I was like, oh, so which perfume is in what color? Until I went to go order something, which I have not yet, but I did go to order. Uh, another way is these amazing discovery kits here, which Pascal uh, was so kind to send me one of these to help me discover some more. And I'll show you the ones I bought too before this. Uh, so it comes with three 10 ml bottles in here. You can actually choose which three you want to put in here. And this is, so you get 30 mls for $98, which is kind of cool. And I do love that they have these wood caps. And he gave me the three different ones to show me. Um, and a beautiful sprayer. And I do like that there's a lot of quality in this mister as the travel 10 ml, not just the full. God, that smells so good. Gosh, okay, I'll get to the fragrances. But I do like that there's truly a good quality atomizer here that's very smooth, that you can just, con it's a continuous as you press, not like a water gun squirt, like one shot kind of deal. That's what you wanna see is a nice smooth press and that it mists out that you're not getting giant droplets somewhere like landing on you. It's not what you want. That's why it's always nicer having a bottle like this versus a dabber, because they can be frustrating. The other way is through the subscription he has. Now he had a 2020 subscription, which started kind of when the perfume house started. And that was one of those and a candle, which I'm really loving. I've always loved candles. I mean, there's more candles in this house than a, than a Roman Catholic church, I'm telling you. And then the 2021 version went up a little bit. I think that was $34 a month. And now he's added incense also. So you get three pieces and the subscription starts with the collector's box. The collector's box has a value of $240. So, but the first month you get that, you pay 98. And then the subsequent months for the rest of the year, you pay $44 and you get one of those, a candle and the incense. So the collector's box is kind of like getting three. You're getting three of the fragrances and three of the candles. So you're actually getting a really good deal if it's $44 a month. Um, actually, this is three of them for $98. You're paying $98 in the subscription for this plus three of the candles. So that's a really good deal. And that's what I've been looking at, trying to figure out the 2020 if he still has it or the 2021 subscription package, which I think they're out of the 2020 and you actually now have to get the 2021. But if you're currently in the 2020 subscription, you can keep going with it. It'll continue with the 2021 or you can run them parallel. But you get a lot of fragrance. He's got 17 fragrances now. Um, I've noticed the fragrances are kind of like this round robin of combinations, which I kind of like, I really do. and. Obviously, it's about all these scents of wood. Everything, like this is this uh, cardboard. It feels, everything feels very natural and down to earth. 
kind of um, very like upcycled kind of idea here, even with these strips, yet luxurious. Upcycled, but luxurious. The other way that I actually got some was from Scentbird. My Scentbird subscription, I don't know if you know, I have like four or five of those subscription boxes to try fragrances. Scentbird, I always said, yeah, kind of not my style of fragrances in there, but they keep coming out with like these things like scent of wood and some rajas. Uh, so I kept it and I was really excited because I got a bunch of these cypress. I got cypress and oak, cedar and in acacia and sandalwood and oak which I also have sandalwood and oak here, but I'm gonna go through these with you because I really like them. And it gave me a more rounded kind of view of what these fragrances are like versus just kind of trying one and blind buying one. But I think I am gonna do the subscription because I have noticed that I really do like them in general. I truly like them all, which is kind of nice. I like some more than others, but I truly like them all that I'm actually excited to try them all. And that size 10 ml is kind of perfect for me at this point because they're beautiful. I do like having a full size bottle. Like um, I, I do like the presentation on my shelf, I, can't, I have to admit. But it's more practical for me because 10 ml, I mean, I'm fickle. I'm always trying new fragrances and 10 ml is literally perfect for me. It's a healthy dose of a little more than a month supply. So it's kind of cool like that. I don't know if this is distributed anywhere so far. I just know buying it direct. And I think it's USA and Canada is where he's selling to. So let's get into these. In the discovery here, I got three. I have sandalwood and oak, oud and acacia, and leather and bourbon. So let's start with the sandalwood and oak. I got sandalwood and oak in this discovery and in the scentbird and a friend of mine sent me a little decant of it to say, you've got to try this. So it seems to be a popular one since it came from so many angles. And I have to say this one, I mean, you can see the dent I have already made in this. And I just got this. And I went through the sample my friend sent me, so I can't even show you that one. And I had been using this one also. I had been using the Scentbird one. So I have really dunked into this one. It's very easy. Sandalwood, as you know, is very creamy. I've been wearing this one a lot. This one has like this beautiful, like wood shop kind of fresh smell to it. There's so there's the sandalwood, which gets it really creamy on your skin. And there's sage at the top, I believe, that gives it that brightness. And there's actually Gaiac wood in here, giving it this nice hearty base. But when it's on you, there is this sweet creaminess. And now mind you, when I say sweet, I haven't tried any of these that are truly sweet in my girly girl kind of way. They're sweet in a woody sweet kind of way, the way woods just have a natural sweetness to them. But this one is the easiest dumb reach. If you want an everyday dumb reach, this one was just always good. And when I got out of the shower, it was just something I wanted. And with the fall now and then the winter woods are just so they're comforting and refreshing that i'm really liking this the second one that i have on my arm now is this one which is much richer this one i was a little hesitant it's oud and acacia if you don't know acacia is a little like bushy shrub that ha has um, mimosa flowers on it so if you can, you know, imagine you're gonna get a little bit of that mimosa kind of smell, along with orris, which I love orris. Orris, orris root are from the uh, iris flower, right? I think it takes like seven years for it to develop to get the orris. This one I really love. So I loved the sandalwood and oak and found that to be my dumb reach and wore it a lot. Let's see, I have this jacket on, so this is hard. And then I fell in love with this one because I love Oris so much. I just love this one. I love this one because the Oud gives it this richness and depth, but the Oris gives it this more um, sexiness to it and softness to it. 
this like, to me, if, like it gives me that feminine flair that I need while I find all of these very unisex. I'll, I'll, some of them I'll tell you if I think they lean a little masculine. But this one has that orris root in it, which just gives it that like softness, right? Like this, the soft but tough, the like, I just love this one. Ah, uh, yeah. So if you like Oris, it's literally um, Oris over this. Now, I've heard that what the, the way they process this is this juice sits in these wood caskets much like you would uh, alcohol. The way they sit in these like oak barrels, like if you think of Chardonnay and oak barrels and how they make like cognac and things, how they how they sit in these barrels, right? Or whiskey in barrels. And that's what he's done here in order to infuse them, which is just incredible to me. And I love when the world of alcohol meets the world of perfumes, right? It's just so, and like the world of just the nature, because I, I am an outdoorsy girl. You may not realize it, but I am a super outdoorsy girl. Um, that I, this one I think is my favorite of these. And that is Oud in Acacia. Then we have, this one I love, but on men. It is leather in bourbon. Like, how amazing does that sound? If you're thinking that this sounds like Kevin Costner in the TV show Yellowstone, you're right. It does. This is probably what he's wearing or what he should be wearing. Because I get this leather, it's this prominent leather very prominent leather. The bourbon is subtle. It kind of is like a bourboned leather in here, but the leather I get is like, um, like a Western leather. Like you're literally out there on a horse ranch. Okay. Nothing animal. Like I don't get like an influence of a farm. Don't misunderstand that. But the leather is this like good quality, but worn in rugged, masculine leather. This is not the guy in the Ferrari in a leather jacket. This is the guy that is on his ranch property up in Montana or somewhere. That kind of like masculine leather, outdoorsy smell. And I just think it is so sexy on a man. Nothing screams sexy like masculinity to me. And the bourbon and the leather is this perfect combination for that could I wear it? Absolutely. It's on my other arm. Me personally, I would probably add a vanilla because it goes really well with leather and bourbon and it adds a little bit more to that like toward feminine. It won't be feminine, it'll be more unisex, but it won't be quite as masculine when I layer a vanilla over this. A bourbon vanilla is great. Maybe like um, Spiritus Double uh, Vanille or something like that, like a bourbon vanilla over this. Yeah, but for men, don't touch, just, just wear this. This is really, really good. I'm loving this one on a man. And then the scent bird, there'd be two others. So cedar in oak. This one is, this one gets a little spicy. Um, in a good way. It's like wood and subtle spices. The spices kind of kick up, kick, ugh. The spices kind of kick up a little bit as it dries down. I've always loved the smell of cedar. And I think, you know, I actually keep cedar planks in my closet. And I like that fresh smell with my clothes. And I it, it also is a natural wood to keep away moths and things. Not that I have to worry about that. But I just like the smell in my closets. Um, this one... This one, yeah, is a little more spicy. You get that cedar, but there's also a vetiver kind of grounding this a little bit. This one's this one's a little more masculine to me, but you know, even I get in these like rough and tumble kind of way, ways or in the mornings or if I'm hiking, like I actually enjoy wearing these fragrances. I would not wear them out and about because I like to be a little more girly when I'm out and about, and I sure, I sure as heck don't feel boom shakalaka when I wear these more masculine-leaning fragrances. 
but I do enjoy them, the smell. It's why I wear them for me when I'm alone. This one has a little bit of kick, like almost like this cardamom kind of kick, but I like it. And then there is cypress and oak. Now I happen to really love cypress. I, let's see. I love balsamics and a cypress is a balsamic. So so this one's kind of interesting because this one is, reminds me a little more of like the Italian coast where you're going to get these balsamic trees and then you're also seeing the, the waterfront. You can also get it here where I live. There happens to be these kinds of trees along the cliffs of the ocean because you get this kind of combination. This isn't like you're in, okay, yeah, I'm in California. So it's not like you're in Lake Tahoe where you're surrounded by the trees and not really seeing the water. This is, um, this is like, you know, I hate to say, but this is kind of like my San Diego air where you can be by these green trees. A lot of people here like the Italian cypress trees and plant them in their yards. And then you also have that ocean air giving it this like lightness to the fragrance, yet you're getting that freshness from the balsamic cypress. This is really interesting. This one I need to wear longer to be truthful. I, I didn't wear this one as much as I wore those. I just had this like magnetism to these other ones that I kept wearing and I was trying to force myself to wear them all and not get stuck. Kind of like, you know, you go to a restaurant and they have a dish that you really love and you have to sit there and tell yourself, don't order that dish again. Try something else on the menu. I know it's really good and you love it, but try something else. That's kind of how I felt with this, where I kind of got stuck on some of them where I couldn't stop wearing that one and I was trying to force myself to try the rest. And then I try another one and was like, wait, no, I like this one better. So really like the sandalwood and oak. I find it really easy to wear. Uh, longevity on me was moderate. These are not beasts. They're, they're, I don't think they're meant to be beasts. I don't think the kind of notes are beastly, but I certainly got like a day's worth kind of a thing. Like I got like, you know, your six to eight hours day's worth. It could be that I went and just couldn't smell it anymore myself, but that's really what I was feeling. And then it just got really like a skin scent um, or I just moved on to something else. But I have to say this acacia, man, this one is so good. The oud and acacia, this is not like an oudy oud, but this is, this one's my favorite for sure. I'm really, really happy with these. This one is, it's a sweet oud, but not like, it's, it's the sweet from the wood sweetness, but it's a sweet oud. It's so good. I, uh, yeah, this one's not going to last long. And look at that beautiful colored juice. I really, really like that one. And like I said, I think I'm going to sign up for that um, subscription box so I get to try all of them. So yet yeah, 11 plus 13, 12, 13, 14. So you'll get 14 out of the 17 fragrances by doing the subscription you'll end up with all these travel, which I mean, I'm always the pragmatic with this. You know me guys, right? I'm like, okay, what's the best way to buy this or where's the discount code? Um, they do have, when you go up on their website, it's almost to the point of annoying where every time you switch the page, it's like, sign up for a text, sign up for a newsletter. So I, I imagine there might be discount codes if you do that. I don't know. I didn't do that yet, but I'm actually really liking this house and brand new house, man, kind of liking it. So um, I will keep you posted. When I get the subscription, I will keep you posted on what comes in. And again, yeah, I'm loving, I'm really into the perfume candles now too. I have some from Raja, some from uh, MFK, and now I plan on getting them from Sense of Wood, which I really, really, really like. So that's my long thing. And stay tuned. I will see you in the next one. Mwah.